The Kajabi Page Builder. It's sometimes lacking in those little flourishes that make your web page stand out. And I ran into such a frustrating situation recently. Here's what happened. All I wanted to do was list a few small thumbnails, give the visitor the option of deciding which video they wanted to watch, and then when they picked one, I wanted that little thumbnail to pop up a full-size video and stay on the same page, like this. Not really rocket science, but by default, you can't do this in Kajabi. So, with a little bit of a mod, you can. Now, there are a few tutorials out there on how to do this, but the problem is, they can be a little complex, and because I like making my viewers' life easy, I wanted a simple solution that anybody could use without getting techier, a pre-built solution, make it easy for you. And of course, all the code that you need to make this work is included below this video. But, and this isn't some ploy to keep you watching, but there are a few things that you need to know in order for this to work, and I'll be showing you what to change as we go through the lesson. So make sure you watch that, or it won't work. But before we get into all this, we've got to give a big shout out to this guy, Ateshwa. Now, Ateshwa, he is an amazing freelance Kajabi developer, all round nice guy, and he's actually provided the code, and normally he sells this code that allows you to do this for like, 300 bucks. But because he likes to help people, he's allowed me to give it away for free. So if you need any Kajabi custom development and you're looking for a talented individual who cares more about helping people than making a profit, you might want to check him out. And I've put his details in the description. Okay, let's get to setting this up. Now, before we start, how you go about this, it all depends on if you've got access to the Kajabi code or not. And this depends on the plan you've got. I'll just jump into Kajabi and I'll show you what I mean. As you can see, I'm in the landing pages section, which is located here on the website. Now, if I come over here to this landing page and I come across these three little dots and I select that, if I come down here, do you see that? Modify code, I'll select that. And then from here, I can access and make changes to the code that's behind that page. And depending on which Kajabi plan you have, that will determine if you've got access to this code section or not. And if you've not, don't worry, because I'll be showing you a workaround shortly. Let's start with those of you who do have access to the modified code section. And of course, I'm assuming you've already downloaded the code to your computer. So I'm back in Kajabi under the website section in pages. And what we're going to do, we're going to create a new landing page. So I'll come over here and I'll select landing. Then I want new landing page. And for this example, we'll just select blank. I'll give it a title by clicking get started. And we'll call it video pop up and then click create. So the page is loaded and just so everything's all nice and clean for us, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete everything on this page. So I'm just going to come down here to the bottom and then click delete this section. Hit save. So now we've got a nice blank page to work with. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come up here to landing page and I'm just going to navigate back to the landing pages home page. Time now to deal with the code. I'm going to open the code up on my computer. So I'm going to open the folder and then I'll come down here to snippets. And the file I want is block underscore video dot liquid. So I'll double click on that. Now, if you're on a Mac like me, you can open it with text edit. If you're on a PC, you can use notepad. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all this code. So that's control A on a PC or command A on a Mac. So I'll select all that. Then I'm going to copy it, so that's Control c on a PC or Command c on a Mac. With the code now copied to our clipboard, the next step is to paste this code into the modified code section in Kajabi. So, back to Kajabi. Back here at the landing pages section, and here at the top, there's our landing page. So if I come over here to these three little dots and click that, and then come down and select Modify Code, then I want to come up here to the Snippets folder, I'll select that. And then we want to scroll down and we're looking for block underscore video dot liquid, which is there. So I'll select that. And all this code here, we're going to replace that. So again, I'm going to select it all. So that's control A on the PC or command A on the Mac. So I'll just select all that and I'm going to delete it. Then I'm going to make sure my cursor's right up here at the top and I'm going to paste. And there's our new code. So I'm just going to hit save. Now, before we move on, if for some reason you make a mistake or you want to just revert back to the old code for whatever reason, if you come up here to where it says previous versions and you select that, you can then jump back to all the previous versions of that code. 
just so you know. Now, before we jump back to the landing page and we start setting up the videos, let me just show you how to proceed if you haven't got access to the gold. Just so that the, both the people who haven't got access and the people who have got access can follow along. Back in Kajabi, here at the top, that's the page that we modified the code on. But assuming that you don't have access to the modified code feature in Kajabi, here's how you get around it. If you come up here to the top where it says upload template and you select that, what you can do, you can actually drag a file here. Now, this is really important. It's got to be a zip file. You can't upload a file that you've already unzipped. That's important because if you try to do that, it won't work. So as you can see here, I'll just bring that onto screen. You can see I've got the Encore page video popup.zip. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag that file over here to where it says drag file here. So I'll just drag that on there like that and let go. When it uploads, Kajabi then loads the page for us to use. And just so we've got a nice clean slate to work on, what I'm going to do, all this here, I'm just going to clear all this off. So I'm just going to come down here to the bottom and then click delete this section and then click save. Now, before we set this up, if you're getting value from this lesson, and it ain't much to ask, but if you're getting value and you'd like to show your appreciation for the effort it takes to create these videos to help you, just hit the like button, maybe even subscribe and learn more from me. It really is appreciated. Anyway, back to Kajabi. So now we've got a nice clean page to work with, and I just want to make it perfectly clear here. It doesn't matter if you've used the modify code like we did earlier, or you've uploaded the full template. The steps from here on in, they're exactly the same. So the first thing I want to do is add a video segment. So if I come over here to add section, and then I scroll down and find video, and then click add video. The first thing we need to do is we need to resize this video because of course it's way too big to be a thumbnail. So I'm just going to select in the video there and I'm going to make it uh, three columns wide. And then what we'll do, we'll add another video just for good measure. So I'll come down here, add content. And I'm going to add a, another video. Again, I'll select that. We want that three columns wide. And we'll add another one for good measure. And another video. There we go. And again, three columns wide. Now, the one thing I don't like about these is they're all butted together. I just want a little bit of space between each one. So what I'm going to do, I'll select that one. I'm going to come down to desktop layout and outside spacing. And I'm just going to change that value to 10. And then I'll select the N1. Again, I'm going to come down and desktop layout. And I'll change that value to 10. Now we've got a little bit of space in between each one. I think it looks a lot better. OK, so we've done that. So now it's time to upload our videos. And to save time, what I've done, I've already uploaded the videos and thumbnails. So we'll select the first video. Then I'm going to come down here to Video Actions. I'm going to click Select a Recent File. I'll just select that one. Select. Then I'm going to come down to Select an Image and select a recent one. And we'll have that one, video one. Click that and click select. And then with the magic of editing, I'll do the other two. So we've got all our videos sorted. Now, for this to work, for it to work as a pop-up and not as a conventional video, what you've got to do, you've got to come up, select the video that you want, and then scroll down to where it says player settings, select that. And then you need to select, and this is absolutely imperative that you do this, you need to select allow full screen. Also, a good idea to also select autoplay. So I'll do that. Click save. And I've also done that to the other two videos as well. So the big question is, will it work? Let's find out. I'll just preview the page. Click on the first one. There we go. All right, the second one. Yep. That also works. And try the third one. Yep. That works as well. That's how you do it. Now, if you want to know a few more little tricks that you can do in Kajabi, give you more control over your layout, and also see my solution for having multiple prices on one checkout page, make sure you watch this video next. So, until next time, bye for now.